My name is Luis Molina, and I'm a Partner Solutions Architect at AWS. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up AWS Single Sign-On for your on-premise Active Directory users. Once configured, users will be able to access AWS accounts and cloud applications using their on-premise Active Directory credentials through the AWS Single Sign-On portal. Let's get started with a quick overview. I'll first show you the Active Directory deployment options available today followed by a review of the AWS Managed Active Directory service. Then we will go over the AWS Single Sign-On service. And finally, we will enable Single Sign-On for an on-premise Active Directory by way of a two-way trust to the AWS Managed Active Directory service, which we will then connect to the AWS Single Sign-On service. There are three main options for Active Directory deployment. Customers can select more than one option depending on their needs like a hybrid architecture to facilitate a cloud migration, for example. First, there is the self-managed on-premise Active Directory, which is where most enterprises start. Next, there is the self-managed Active Directory running on Amazon EC2 instances. And finally, there is the AWS Managed Active Directory, which we will discuss next. AWS Directory Service lets you run Microsoft Active Directory as a managed service. It's easy to set up and run directories in the AWS cloud or connect with your AWS resources with an existing on-premises Microsoft Active Directory. Once your directory is created, you can use it to manage users and groups, provide single sign-on to applications and services, create and apply group policy, domain join Amazon EC2, Linux and Windows instances, as well as simplify the deployment and management of cloud-based Linux and Microsoft Windows workloads. AWS Managed Microsoft Active Directory is powered by Windows Server 2012 R2. When you select and launch this directory type, it is created as a highly available set of domain controllers connected to your virtual private cloud. The domain controllers run in different availability zones in a region of your choice. Host monitoring and recovery, data replication, snapshots, and software updates are automatically configured and managed for you. And now that we've finished reviewing Active Directory deployment solutions, it's time to move on to the AWS Single Sign-On service. AWS Single Sign-On is a cloud single sign-on service that makes it easy to centrally manage single sign-on access to multiple AWS accounts and business applications. It enables users to sign in to a user portal with their existing corporate credentials and access all of their assigned accounts and applications from one place. With AWS Single Sign-On, you can easily manage single sign-on access and user permissions to all of your accounts in AWS organizations centrally. Further, by using the AWS Single Sign-On Application Configuration Wizard, you can create Security Assertion Markup Language, SAML, 2.0 integrations, and extend Single Sign-On access to any of your SAML-enabled applications. AWS Single Sign-On also includes built-in SAML integrations to many business applications, such as Salesforce, Box, and Office 365. With just a few clicks, you can enable a highly available single sign-on service without the upfront investment and ongoing maintenance costs of operating your own single sign-on infrastructure. AWS Single Sign-On provides a user portal so users can find and sign into all of their assigned AWS accounts and business applications in one place. AWS Single Sign-On integrates with Microsoft Active Directory through AWS Managed Directory Service, enabling users to sign into the user portal using their AD credentials. With the Active Directory integration, you can manage single sign-on access to your accounts and applications for users and groups in your corporate directory. For instance, you could grant the DevOps AD group access to your production AWS accounts. When you add the users to this group, they are granted access to your production AWS accounts automatically. This makes it easy to onboard new users and give existing users single sign-on access to new accounts and applications quickly. Here we have a high-level overview of a sample AWS single sign-on architecture. Starting on the left is our on-premise Active Directory users and groups. On the top right, you can see the AWS master account, which contains the AWS directory service, single sign-on, and AWS organizations. You can see that the on-premise Active Directory users are assigned single sign-on entitlements through the AWS managed Active Directory connection. There are also AWS organizations which manage access to all AWS accounts in the organization. Users access the single sign-on user portal using their on-premise Active Directory credentials. AWS Single Sign-On then grants them access to the AWS member accounts, which are defined in the AWS organizations. And now it's time to demonstrate how easy it is to configure AWS Single Sign-On with an on-premise Active Directory. 
With this demo, we are starting off with an on-premise Active Directory and AWS Manage Active Directory. A two-way trust has already been established between the two. First, you will need to enable AWS Single Sign-On, which is a no-charge service. Once you have Single Sign-On enabled, you will need to connect it to your Manage Active Directory. As of this recording, Single Sign-On is only available in the US East 1 region, so you will need to make sure that your Manage Active Directory is running there. Once you select your Manage Active Directory, click Connect. You will see the connected directory details. Take note of the user portal URL. This is configured in the directory service settings. This is the URL your users will use to access the single sign-on portal. OK, so now that we have successfully connected our on-prem Active Directory to single sign-on via a trust with that managed directory service, it is now time to grant my on-prem users access to an AWS organization's account. On this page, you can select which account in the organization you will be providing access to. Next, you will need to select which Active Directory users or groups you will be assigning access to this account. I am clicking the pull down here so that I can search against my on-premise Active Directory. We'll start by searching for on-premise groups that start with the word domain. As you can see here, it has found five matching groups. Rather than assign the rights to a group, I'm going to assign the permissions to a single user. Once I select the user, you can see that it resolves to the domain NetBIOS name slash user. Now I'll go ahead and assign a permission set to this user. In this case, I have a predefined view only access user set, which I will assign, but you can define any permission set you require. After clicking finish, the account will be configured. Now that the account is fully configured, we can expand the details and see the steps that were taken. We have connected a directory to single sign-on and assigned single sign-on access to an AWS account. Let's see what the user experience looks like. We will do this with a different unauthenticated web browser. We'll access the single sign-on portal and log in with my on-premise Active Directory credentials. Now that I'm logged in, I can see my AWS account listed as an available application. When I click on that, I see that I have view only AWS managed console access. Let's go ahead and click on that. As you can see, I am now able to access the AWS management console as a federated login. Okay, so now that we're signed on to the console, let's, let's try to see if we can launch a new EC2 instance. We'll just go ahead and select the first available options. Okay, looks good. Let's uh, review and launch. Uh, we'll get asked what kind of uh, key pair we want to use. Uh, we'll go ahead and select no key pair since this is just a lab. Click launch. And as you can see, I'm not able to launch the instance since I only assigned my on-premise AD account view access. In addition to the AWS console and AWS account applications, you can also have the ability to configure single sign-on access to other cloud applications. You could define your own custom application or select one from the AWS single sign-on application catalog. The catalog is fairly extensive and is updated as new cloud applications are added. Great. So today I showed you how to set up and take advantage of AWS single sign-on for your on-premise Active Directory users. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. Thank you.